please welcome first alums Lauren Lyons and Kenny Vargas. Good evening, everyone. I am a first alum turned SpaceX engineer. And I'm a first alum turned, turned inner city high school English teacher. Sixteen years ago, I was a high school ju junior at Foothill High School. Been expelled from three schools. I was involved in street gangs and living that lifestyle. I had been trying to pull away, but I had it. The gang was everywhere, in school, at home. They were my friends, family. A teacher got me excited about trying something different. He wanted me to be on a robotics team and maybe travel to Orlando. He made it sound good. <laughs> In the first several weeks on the team, I'm told I didn't talk much in team meetings. The team was struggling to pick a name. Listening to everyone, I realized we all came from challenging backgrounds. We weren't considered the best or the brightest, and it came to me. We were all on our journeys, like Homer's Odyssey. We called our team Odyssey. That first year, we competed in Orlando, and we came in last. We could see the disparity in the robots. We wanted to get better. We knew we had to set higher expectations, so we decided to cast our net wider. At that time, I had a lot on my plate. My mentor told me that I was not on track to graduate. I had to make a plan. So my senior year, I went to a community college in the morning and to the high school in the afternoon. On our first team, we got eight or nine more students. We also got more engineers. And as much as we wanted the professionals to build our robot, the adults told us that it would be more powerful if it came from the students. <laughs> they empowered us to fail or succeed. We were thrust into the madness of the national championship competition. And to our amazement, we found out we had a high scoring robot. With the teamwork of our alliance schools, we won the championship. And I've been focused on graduating high school. Suddenly, I found out I had been admitted to Berkeley. It was surreal for me. So now I'm back working in my own neighborhood for the very person who got me into robotics my mentor, Vito Kiala, now principal. <laughs> now principal at, at Oberfell High School. I wanted to get back to my community. Over 90% of my students are considered low income. Most of the families do not speak English as a primary language, and very few have parents who attended college. I spent a lot of time working with kids who need to see and believe that they have opportunities like FIRST. FIRST played a major role in my life. Some may have asked why resources should be used on kids who have made so many mistakes. Well, my first mentor was different. FIRST believes that if you give a kid an opportunity, anything is possible. Thank you, FIRST. So like Kenny, 18 years ago, a teacher also interested, or got me interested in first through promises of a trip to Disney. <laughs> and who could resist that, right? Uh, but I, I joined first for Mickey, but I stayed for the robots. <laughs> Before first, I never really understood what an engineer did, but fortunately, my mentors from my high school were JPL engineers who taught me how to machine parts, how to wire circuit boards, how to design pneumatic actuators, and I just got hooked. And from there came a series of firsts for me. My team, 362, was the first all-girls team west of the Mississippi. <laughs> I was also the first person in my family to attend college, and the first 
person from my high school to study engineering in college. <laughs> I wound up at Princeton University and there I found the things that I learned through first, at least some of my favorite things like teamwork, machine shop skills, learning CAD packages. All those things gave me this sense of confidence when I got to college to help me with my transition. There were other first alums in my department as well, tons, and uh, they made for great teammates in the junior year robotics course. And uh, we also took the time to mentor a local team in our community back in Princeton. At one of the first kickoffs, I was lucky enough to meet long-term first volunteer Dave Lavery <laughs> from NASA. <laughs> and, I, and I remember being there and, and just saying, he asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, I want to work at NASA. <laughs> so Dave helped me get my first internship at JPL where I got to work on Mars robots for three summers straight. Thank you, Dave. And 15 years later, we're still friends, and he still holds this invaluable role in my life. I don't know if you know that, but thank you. And it's not only those mentors that I hold dear, it's the first lessons of cooperation and gracious professionalism. They stay with me. The idea that your final score is not only the points that you earn, but also a multiple of your opponent's score. And that changed the way that I view what success meant. I'll never forget that time during our rookie year when our robot shipped to Orlando and kind of fell apart in the process. And there was a veteran team next to us in the pits who stayed up with us all day and into the pits closed to help us rebuild our robot from scratch. They didn't have to do that, but that's the spirit of first. You help one another out because the competition becomes better for it. Just over a year ago, I joined SpaceX and in some ways, SpaceX is like this perfect combination of all those things that I love about FIRST, that, that real world hands-on experience, teamwork and the heat of solving really big problems, sometimes amongst other FIRST alums, we have tons at SpaceX. And that feeling of engineering being just as exciting, if not more exciting than a sporting event. I mean, you guys saw that rocket landing on that drone ship in the ocean, right? Yeah. <laughs> At SpaceX, I am working to build the future, and FIRST gave me my first set of tools to do that. Kenny and I would like to thank all of you who make FIRST work, thereby giving thousands of kids, like we were, the opportunity to discover ourselves and the universe. You know why? FIRST, first works! works. <laughs>